When it comes to returns, past returns can be useful, but we think the best returns to use when doing any form of analysis are projected returns. Why? Because they can take account of where markets are at today. In our analysis, looking at safe withdrawal rates, the final numbers are prepared based on our projected returns. And there's a few important elements in there. First of all, we actually adjusted our returns for some allowance for fees. In the real world, there are costs to investing, whether you're uh, paying for advice, whether you're paying an investment manager, whether you're paying an accountant or just somebody else to administer your portfolio, costs will be there. Our analysis used a 1% per annum assumption in the fee component. Next, when you're looking at those projected returns, you need to look at the more fundamental aspects of where markets are at today and what earnings are going to look like in the future to build your returns. We still have equities producing higher returns than cash, but risk is still there, those returns are still volatile, and probably most importantly, instead of just using an equity and bond portfolio, we're able to project returns on multiple asset classes and put together a much more diversified portfolio to model and a portfolio more representative of the way Australians are investing today, including a combination of Australian and international shares, Australian and international bonds, cash and listed property. We think that approach is going to generate much more sensible answers when looking forward and trying to plan your retirement.